This is an LMMS tutorial on the piano roll. I already have LMMS open. As you can see, here's the piano roll. This is where you basically compose all of your melodies, and you can even use it, you can pull it up and make your drum, drum patterns in here too, and basically edit the pitches, and uh, you can make slides, and all that good stuff. First of all, which you can probably tell by yourself, here's the play, record, stop, and then this button right here, it plays it. Uh, you can like play the song or something, or the something from the beat and bass line editor while you record. The first icon on here allows you to place notes. The second icon on here allows you to erase notes. The third one allows you to select notes. So then you can edit them all as and like move them at the same time if you go to the first icon. Yeah, uh, yeah, I forgot to say the first icon also allows you to move notes and all that stuff. It's pretty much that's the main one you use when you're making like melodies and stuff like that. And then this fourth icon, it allows you to like make pitch slides. All right, I'll show you an example of this. So you'd go like here and. Then you click here. If you don't want it to slide yet, then you make you can make another one. And I'm gonna have it slide down one. And then you just play it like oh want it to be over there. And there you go, you can hear that slide right there. And then this is the cut icon. So you can select some notes and then just cut them and then paste them somewhere else. And this is the copy icon. This And then this third one over here, paste them. Again, so if you don't want to cut them and you just want to copy them, click there. And then you can go into another instrument. I'm just going into kicker. Obviously, you probably wouldn't paste these notes into kicker unless you're working with an 808 or something. But there you go. And then this, it enables auto-scrolling, so the bar at the bottom scrolls as far as you have the notes. So if you have like eight bars, you see mine ends over here at five. When it got past five, this bar would keep scrolling. So it would just follow the notes. I'll just make a random pattern and show you an example. There you go. And then this allows you to loop a certain section of your melody. Alright, so once you got that clicked on, you hold control and you can move this one over here. And then to move the first one, you hold shift and control. And you can go ahead and move this one. So I'll just set a loop point to show you exactly what it does, even though it's pretty self-explanatory. Here you go. Just It just loops that part. And then this last one, it uh, decides what happens when you push the stop button up here. So automatically it stops and goes back to the beginning. So play, and then if I push stop when it's here, it goes back to the beginning. And then, and then uh, the second one, it goes back to the position where your playing was started. So if I make the starting point at uh, right here and push play, and then push stop, it goes back there. And then... The last one, if I put wherever I push stop, that's where the little pointer right here, the position stays. So if I push stop here, it stays there. And then over here, you got this little um, zoom in. You can, which, uh, yeah, you can just zoom in more 100%, 400, 800, zoom way in, and edit your beat and stuff more finely. And then this, the Q is quantization. So it just basically is what your note is quantized to. So now it's 16th. So if I have it on 1-1, one, one, it's just going to not move to like a fourth beat or anything. It's just going to go qu straight to a whole beat. And then uh, 
there's there's all these different ones. One sixty four, one third. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then this basically decides what the size of your note is that you place onto the piano roll. So default it's last note so that means if you draw a note at like a fourth beat then your next note will be a fourth beat that you place unless you resize it but you can also go in here and just pick like you can pick a 16th note an eighth note all these different types of notes and it'll automatically be that size i'll show you here's a one fourth and then the next one is this little scale section right here which is really nice um i'm just going to show you what it does, you can pick any of these scales right here that you want to use, but I'm just going to go ahead and pick the minor one. And then you just right click on this piano over here and click mark current scale and it marks that so you can see all the notes that are in the scale, like always. And then if you want to unmark it, you just right click again and go to unmark all. And the next section is this chord section. So you just select what chord you want. Uh, so you want a major chord, C major. Uh, you just click there and it marks the whole chord for you in one click, which is really nice sometimes. The last thing I have to show you on here is down here where you can edit the volume of each note, which is really nice. If you want to make it sound uh, more interesting or more like an actual person playing something because real people do not play the same note at the same volume all the time or like they don't constantly play at the same volume so that helps a lot you just uh pull down these little gauges right here and if you have two notes in the same place which you might have already saw since i had this chord selected by default when i placed it you only edit the one that you have selected so like let's say you want the c since it's a C major, louder than the rest of the notes on the chord, you just select the C and pull the C's gauge up. And then just deselect it by clicking, and you can continue editing. The other thing you can edit down here is panning, which is, you know, left to right. So up is right, and down is left. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.